Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video. This time we're going to be sharing the best settings for ACC on low NPCs. And for me personally, I used to use a 1060 RTX graphics card. And trust me, at the beginning, I really did used to struggle with the way how ACC looked, the way how it ran, because I was trying to run the, the game in somewhat high settings and the game would just keep stuttering. Then I changed my settings, made them sort of low and then the game just looked terrible. But I managed to actually figure it out how to get a decent output in terms of performance while still making the game look pretty decent on a 1060 graphics card. Of course, since then, um, thanks to Joe Blow, I've upgraded to a 2080, but I still do have the um, same settings that I did have before. So I'm gonna run through the settings with you guys. Hopefully I can help you guys out. And um, this one's for Shins, man, because Shins told me he was he was using seriously low settings and he's such a quick guy. I thought, listen, man, <laughs> okay? I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't have them struggling out here like that, man. So um, I hope you guys do enjoy the setup. It's Crypto TNG. Um, let's get stuck into this video. So guys, we're gonna be going through the settings to try and get the game looking a little bit better. As I said before, I used to have a 1060 and understand that getting the ACC to look good was pretty difficult so I'm gonna run through the settings and the things that I changed actually to um to get my game looking decent and um hopefully it works for you guys man because I understand when you're trying to race you do want it to look at least half decent at the very least man so um let's go for the settings I'm gonna disable v-sync for the minute even though for me the game I definitely got a lot more a lot less screen tearing when I had uh v-sync enabled but don't need v -Sync on. we're going to limit the frames to 60 i believe what i actually did um i believe what i did is i limited the frames to 80 um when i first started playing this game and i had a, a sort of a low end graphics card we're going to leave the resolution scale at 70 and put the view distance up to medium shadows is for me pretty important i'd rather get rid of the shadow distance put that to low I put the shadows up to at least mid or high because for me personally the game kind of looks a, a little a little weird without the um without the shadows man um the effects i'm gonna leave low what you want to go down to is texture now texture i'm gonna put to mid um i'm gonna scroll down at the moment that the game is on the default low settings but i'm just going through and changing let's just see how good we can actually make it look because it is a little bit of a struggle um you don't need a lot of mirror quality you do not need a lot of mirror quality because you know as long as you can see something in your mirrors then you should be fine i put my mirrors up to about 40 meters um mirror frame rate limit let's just put the mirror frame rate down to 30, 30 i reckon you don't need any more than that um visible opponents now Again, if you're if you're really struggling with a with a low end PC, then you're gonna want to keep this pretty low. But I at least I like to see um, 15 cars. Um, that that should be, you know, if you're if you're if you're on a pretty big grid, you know, 30 drivers on a the grid. Then if you're sort of mid pack, you can pretty much see everything behind you and everything in front of you. So I always put it to like 15 cars. Um, we'll scroll down material quality now i did used to like to have this actually on high um for me when i had the 1060 um bloom quality just get rid of all that get rid of the bloom get rid of the uh put everything here on low for me personally i got rid of all that the car lod quality i believe that's um I believe that's the lights on the car so we'll see we'll see what it gets to what it looks like without it um the advanced sharpening filter we're going to leave disabled and what what you want to stick up is your sharpness this is what you want to stick up so i stuck this to about 120 i believe so we stick it to 120 and now let's go back into the game and see how it looks already you can say the game looks a lot better than it does when you when you're just playing on the standard the standard settings already now look it looks like way more sharper without having to go crazy with the settings um for me personally I, I play on pretty high settings so i can sort of notice the differences um the little sort of jagged edges on the back of the bmw 
but again as i'm saying it looks a lot lot better than it just the normal default low but let's see if we can we can get it looking a little bit better than that still and we have again i've gone to the wrong thing we have loads of settings that are completely you know christ how many times are gonna do it man now we've got a load of settings still on extremely low so it shouldn't be taking up too much of your pc's processing power um obviously like acc runs seriously hard on your on your pc but there is ways around it and for me one of the other tricks i did use as well is on the um hair where you can go across to first let's let's say this as a as a test all right one of the things you can try as well which is what i tried is when you're going across here where you're scrolling across the different um quality settings i scrolled across and the first thing i tried was vr even though i'm not on a vr is i tried vr high hit apply go back into the video settings and you can see even when you put the vr on high a lot of the settings are not maxed out okay so um there's a good base to start with that's actually how i i found the settings that i that i did um if you scroll down to the material quality is on high again um sharpness put the sharpness back up to 120 what what for me the most noticeable thing for me was the resolution scale you should just kill it when i had it too high um, again you want to put the frame rate limit depend depend really what your pc can handle um let's say 60 for now um resolution scale is actually on 80 this time um i'll put the shadow distance back down to low again and put the shadows up to high and again i think we're gonna leave, we'll try to leave the resolution scale at 80 percent um, we're going to try and put vsync on which is another thing that which will affect a little bit of your pc's performance but let's just see the quality see how it looks um opponents visible 15 um frame rate what's this mirror frame rate limit we'll put that to 30 fps material mirror mirror quality you can leave it on low um Mirror view distance, as I said, about 40%, uh, 40 meters, sorry. It shouldn't be too bad. And yeah, let's check that out, see how it looks. Not too much difference from the same we had before. You can see the, the, the shadows just wobbling a little bit on the uh, BMW ahead, but it still looks pretty good, especially if you're on a low end PC. Um, let's switch the cameras up a little bit. So even on the even on the TV camera, you can see it looks pretty decent. Okay, so if you guys want to give these settings a go, I know a lot of people, you know, not on the the best PCs or the best graphics cards, um, really struggling with with figuring out setups, um, video settings for ACC. It is pretty tough, but as I said before, there's always ways around it. Game still looks pretty good, man. You see on the helicopter cam, struggles a little bit more but definitely not the end of the world. I think this is where the, the shadow distance would um, would come in and you'd be able to see the shadows on this camera. But, you know, if you're, if you're just worried about racing, you, you don't have to worry about, you know, your shadows from this sort of distance. As you can see, when you're nice and close up, the game looks pretty good. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with those settings, man. Pretty happy with those settings. You guys have got to tell me if it's worked for you. You can, again, you know, whether you want to enable or, or disable VSync is up to you guys. Um, as I said, these settings that I have here, these are probably probably slightly more mid-range if your computer's got a little bit of juice in it. Um, just scroll through these settings. I'll scroll through them slowly so you guys can uh, just copy what, what's here because I... I think I was talking to I think I was talking to Shin saying that he was you know using mad low settings. I think wow the guy's so quick, surely. <laughs> surely it's gonna be just a little bit beneficial to have um you know a little bit of a better a better experience while while you're actually playing the game visually, you know. So um 
we'll have a little look. Those are the settings we've got. That's for the sort of mid-range PCs, I would say. And then, of course, if we just save that as a mid. Boom. And then we go to the test, which is the, the, the lower settings. So I've actually put the frame rate to 80, but again, that's up to you guys. You can have it on 60 or 80. We'll, we'll take off um, V-Sync for this one. Um, if your if your computer is uh, extremely, you know, not not great, then I would say put this down to 60. Drop that to 60. 70 resolution scale. And then we'll scroll down the rest. You can see a lot of settings on low. Um, we'll scroll very slowly because some of the things you just you just don't need it's, you know if you want the absolute most beautiful image then I guess I understand but you don't need it to um, be affecting your performance of your PC when you're racing because you will get micro stutters and stuff like that so let's have a look So you can see a little bit more choppy without the V-Sync, I think. But definitely, um, I can I can visibly see the difference, but it's still, I wouldn't say terrible. It looks a little choppy. And that I think, that I think will be the um the v-sync so let's stick the v-sync back on apply now drive yes and see chopping has gone so it looks as if the v-sync definitely doesn't make quite a bit of difference but the game does look pretty smooth So yeah, I would say, you know, you guys should be able to, to get away with that on your PCs. Hopefully you can. Yeah, as I said, hopefully you guys can get away with that. Hopefully this video um, helped you guys out because I know how tough it was in the beginning when I started, um, you know, when I wanted to make videos, I was recording or streaming or whatever, um, how hard it was for me to get the game just looking semi-decent and actually, you know, having a game where the game was actually performing well, because that's the main thing. If the, if the game's not performing well, then you know you just it, it causes errors on the track and that's the last thing you want so hope you guys did enjoy the video scripted tmg like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace